Hello again there, folks. We're back at Bloomville, Berea, Egypt Road Trails. Uh, with the shorter parking lot. So, nice, cool, beautiful morning. The weather up here in the state lately has been, eh, yesterday it was 92 degrees. Cold front went through last night and dropped the temps down. So today's agenda, trying to get this wrapped up today. There's a couple of unnamed trails. Um, where are we? We are here. No. Well, we're gonna try to do the whole down loop. We're in this general, or I think we're right here. So. For some reason this parking lot is not listed. Yeah, we must be right here. So we're going to try to do this whole down loop today. I think I have an idea where this trail is, but this is the only information I have in this place. So, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do the sun field. We're going to look for the loop. Again, if you're watching any of my other videos, there's all the sign, the wooden, the old farm fence, the, the, the registration book, the house across the road from the parking lot, and that's the parking lot. Alright, get registered in here, and, well, never mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm already registered in, but today's 7-7, seven, seven. so I better write that down. Again, the whole purpose of these videos is so your eyes come across them and go, Hey, that's a decent trail. I mean, here, here, I'm, the last time I was up here was 624, here to 7-7, seven, seven, and nobody's been on any of these trails since then, so, you know justifies funding when you use the registry. Right, I'm gonna walk up to the tent here and make some adjustments to my new boots I got last week. Yeah, either the rain up here in New York State is either the weather, I should say. The weather in New York State it's either raining or it's 90. Last week we were fighting with the rain and we didn't do any hiking yesterday because it was 92 degrees and sunny, which up here it's like, whew, might as well have been thrown in the furnace with the doors closed. For it to be 90 in upstate New York in the Adirondack region. <laughs> Something over that way. I don't know. So past the tent, you gotta. We're in the Sunfield loop, so just past the tent, we're gonna take this little trail. And if the tent's not here, that's the old abandoned barn up there. That's now a resort. But here's where we turn. So I'll head this way.
Alright, we're going to go straight across this intersection. Actually, no, let's turn here actually. <laughs> this is so confusing because there's no signs to tell you which way to go. But I do see a bunch of signs over here. Well, I'll let you know if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> I don't know, I'm... I, this is something you, you, you should probably hit the pine because here I am crossing another intersection I don't know where I'm going which direction I'm going there's a sign I came from that direction so I'll just get there so keep in mind you have to do a little bit of walking to find the signs I'll just show you the signs and I'll start the trail and I get to the signs but it's gonna be a scavenger hunt because I ain't gonna tell you to go left go right go straight go left 15 times to find the place <laughs> and I don't even know where I'm going it just saves me less time editing the video, having to delete all this extra stuff out. So I'll just get to the trail. I think that's the landfill. Not 100% sure. There is a small landfill on the way to Boonville. I think it's 289, State Route 289 or something like that. I can't even think of the name of the town that it goes into. Either way, material's right here, so. After multiple zigzags on multiple trails, <laughs> the trail hike says it's gonna be like, well, we'll see here shortly. But to get there, it's gonna be like a little bit of a longer to find it and then the trail. So keep that in mind. I probably hiked about a half mile to get here. 1.6 kilometers at a half mile to that. Tug Hill View Trail. And this is a trail that's off of Sunfield Loop. So we're going to take the Tug Hill View Trail today. And again, I'm parked somewhere over there and to here, so. I almost said Tug Hill View. Alright, Tug Hill View Trail what this one's all about again this probably changes yearly too so what's that hmm. A decent smell to it again I'm not sure the, the history of the property, but I'm pretty sure it was an old farm property. So currently it is July 7th, 2023, temperature 58 degrees. Found me a decent sized deer trail. So it's definitely deer going in and out of these woods. <laughs> well, wouldn't surprise me every time I'm here hiking I see a deer, so. And this feels like a deary morning to me too, so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll still be out and about. It's nice and cool. The sun ain't fully up yet, so I'm pretty sure they'll still, we'll see something. Oh great, we got another sign here. See, the Tug Hill View Trail wasn't even on the, on the docket at the beginning of the video, on the map, so. These are little bonus things you find when you come out to do a hike. 
Okay, I guess this is where the loop starts. Yep. Alright, this is where our loop starts. Tug Hill View, I'm going to take the right. I'm going to go right into the woods. If you need to know where the old barn is, the ski lodge, that's the roof to that as a reference to where we are. Pretty much follow, follow that all the way over this way. <laughs> At least that's a staple, a point of reference so far. There's something in there. Keep in mind we are in black bear territory and moose territory. Well, this ain't a bad view. It's funny that if you look straight out, it's a flat plain. So we're starting to get in the hills up here. And then behind me, you can't see it because there's no real view. But if you were to get up a little higher and look that way, all you'll see is the Adriatic Mountains. <laughs> but then when you're on this side of Boonville, <laughs> you'll probably see Lake Ontario if you had it. Some way to see in the space. <laughs> so, again, it takes me an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to get here. But of course, I plan the day out, so I get here. I'll hike a couple trails, stuff like that. Sasquatch. Huh. They do exist. <laughs> what is it? There's got to be some of these dogs off in the distance and it's reverbing through the hillside. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be a beagle. There is a farm in that direction. It's not a farm animal, trust me, I know. <laughs> because I work on one. <clears throat> it's a beagle. Now that I'm down on the plane a little bit, I can hear it better without all the reverb. It's a dog. Yeah, jumpy with the camera, so. Oh, geez, that house scared the hell out of me. Oh, no way.
I thought it was a deary morning. Okay, now what really sucks is I found the deer, but I'm in somebody's backyard, so I can't show you anything off to the off to the right because it's private property over there. I'm like You're in somebody's backyard, so that's where the deer's hiding. <laughs> okay. Let me get down at the bottom of this hill here. So I know for sure that house is off the view. I mean, it's like right there, so. I was like expecting to see a house out here, but anyway, let's turn around here. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna look up the hill. Yeah, okay, we're good. is right behind the pine trees right here so yeah I feel like wildlife this place definitely has a lot I had to guess I was gonna run and do some deer <laughs> just about every trip out in the Sunfield area there is at least these ones ran away and like the first encounter where they just, that one just stared, stood there and looked right at you. <laughs> See, I hear the trail used to go off this way. What? See, there's a sign still for it there. Uh, but obviously it's a longer trail. ain't actually that bad either so it's a decent trail I'm liking the feel of it I'm pretty sure at some point we're going to have to go back up to the hill that we just crawled down so we'll see how bad that is here shortly Interesting thing about the trail is it has so many turns in it. You don't know what you're about to encounter around the next turn. <laughs> you can only see so far ahead of you. It keeps you on your toes. Yeah, it looks like we're starting to climb back up the hill. An old fence up. An old barbed wire fence still here. Huh. Yeah, we're slowly going up, up the hill. I can show you the roof of the house I encountered. 
so <laughs> yeah this is the hill we're climbing up this is the hill we still got to go so keep in mind <laughs> no matter what direction you got a steep climb Well, this is the end of the trail, the loop. Somebody's been down it recently. So that's the Tuck Hill Brew Trail, 1.4 kilometers loop trail. So uh, I might finish this video off with another shorter trail because I did see a couple of, I'm gonna go explore a couple of them side shoots see what they come out to be so I am gonna end the Tug Hill view trail video now so we'll use anything else as bonus so I hope you enjoyed the video please leave a comment down below let me know how things are going again this is the Berea Egypt Road trail system just outside of Boonville the toenail of the Endronic Mountains, where like it's a Endronic and Tug Hill Plateau Plain. <laughs> so, well, hope you enjoyed the video and it was informative somewhat. And uh, thanks for watching. Alright, this is bonus footage. We're back at the tent. I got a trail going off this way. Here to go explore it. It's another name trail, so I'll just add it to the back of the video. So it looks like something significant back here. done with this spot so it's worth exploring it oh restrooms some kind of storage crates all right so the restrooms are over here then Even got a bike rack here. <laughs> That's interesting. There's the bike rack. 
the restrooms. That takes you up to the shelter up there, the warming hut, whatever it's called. Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, well, I got more adventures to do, so. Is that at the B roll?